you're about to learn realistic hyperwind settings within Forester because if you've ever used hyperwind within Forester, you know how weird and unrealistic that wind looks. So I went in there and tried out a bunch of different settings and these are the ones that came out on top. Quick shout out to Pegasus for giving me the video idea. So this method of adding wind doesn't necessarily make it dynamic, but it is a good and realistic result that can easily be tweaked. Let's jump right in. Alright, so we're going to go into our plugins and open up Forester, Forester tree that is. Then we're going to go into our tree library and choose whatever tree we want. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Morden tree just because here in Texas where I am, there seems to be a lot of those or at least trees that look like this and I'm just really vibing with them. So here you see we have no leaves. The way we fix that is that we go into our tree parameters and match our viewport levels to our render levels. So instead of having a three here, I'm change it to five and just like that we have our leaves i'm just going to zoom in here so we can see our wind up close so if we hit play on our playhead we obviously don't have any motion yet because we have to go into hyperwind and turn on our wind model and instead of wasting your time and going through all these settings i'm just going to post a screenshot of the settings that i used okay since i'm not using octane right now at the moment I'm just going to make that small and make this bigger just so I can see all of my settings here. So right off the bat, I'm going to change this branch stif stiffness into number one because I want my branches moving with my leaves. And I'm going to turn off the leaf wind flip and I'm going to orient the leaves by adding a number one. And I'm going to leave these global wind parameters just like that. Moving on to directional wind and wind speed, I'm going to set that to... 0.15. I'm going to change this to 40. This one to 53. Next one to 1. And that's it. With the default settings, all you get is like the individual leaves sort of swirling around. And that's not really realistic in a real life environment. You see the branch moving up and down and you will get a little bit of wind motion, but it's just a little bit compared to the branch. So you'll notice that if you try to preview that, the Cinema 4D viewport is extremely slow because it uses only a single core to make this work instead of using entire 8, 16, 32 cores that your system may have. So in order to preview this, I'm going to go here, select hardware, um, make sure all my frames are selected, uncheck save, close that and select render. And this will give me a good representation of what my animation is looking like, sort of like it's baking it. Okay, and if we hit play here, we get a good representation of what our animation is looking like. But as you can see, I'm still having some drop frames here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, save as, save as animation, of course, MP4, and select OK. Save it anywhere as anything. And I'll get a quick MP4 of what this is looking like. Okay, here we are. And as you can see, that looks pretty realistic to me, or at least a hell of a lot more realistic than the default settings. So yeah, I'm going to get out of there get out of here and there you go guys these are the settings that i found that work the best for this tree it could be a tiny bit different for every tree but i mean you could just play with the wind speed or even the leaf frequency i wouldn't go anything past five because after that the leaves just start looking weird sort of like they're just spinning in a weird unrealistic way i hope this video helped i tried to keep it as short as possible because dealing with forest or wind is a little bit painful just because you just can't really see what's going on until after you render it but yeah let me know if you want me to do a walkthrough of how i got my final scene the octave textures and the environment settings and the after effects composite so yeah make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thank you guys